Time to make a cutting board. So I have uh, time to glue up the cutting board. So I've got my strips that I've cut. I've got my glue. I've got my clamps. I got some supports and some braces. I also have some wax paper. I'm going to put a whole bunch of glue on here and then and then flip them down and put them together and then clamp them together. Um, now I'm also going to clamp from the top. And I'm going to use the wax paper so that when I put this on and clamp, that they don't, the wood doesn't stick to uh, the other wood. So that is the point. I'll show you in a moment. So this is it all glued up. I got to do this quickly though because it dries pretty quickly if you don't have it on real thick. Um, but I got them pretty thick. So I'm going to turn them all and put them together. There we are all clamped up. I got those neat little six inch minis, found those online. Um, nice and easy to work with. Yeah, they're only six inches, but that's what I needed for spaces like that. Uh, hopefully the wax paper keeps things, uh, keep the wood from gluing to other wood. There will be some wax paper on there. We're gonna have to plane this anyways, both sides. And you notice how the edges, I didn't get worried too much about getting them perfectly lined up gonna trim a little bit off anyways if not gonna shape this into something so there we go I have pulled the clamps off and there's my wax paper that has wood on it but you can see it's a stuck a little bit but just comes off nice and easily it doesn't really leave anything whereas if I had just left plain wood there piece of wood might have glued to it and I'd have to chisel that piece of wood off. So now I have to, you know, chisel off some of the glue that might be sticking up and then plane it and then shape it and sand it and oil it. 